In our previous discussion on terms and propositions used in categorical logic, we learned that there are four types of categorical propositions, namely universal affirmative A, universal negative E, particular affirmative I, and particular negative O. Now, the relationship between and among these four types of categorical propositions is what logicians call the square of opposition. There are four types of relations in the square of opposition, namely contrary, subcontrary, subalternation, and contradiction. In today's whiteboard, I will only discuss one of them, that is, contrary. The other three will be discussed in the upcoming whiteboard editions. But before I proceed, let me show you first the two models of a square of opposition. Now, let's proceed in discussing the first type of relation in the square of opposition, that is, contrary. Contrary is the relationship between universal affirmative and universal negative propositions. Hence, there is only one pair in contrary, that is, A and E, and the pair differs only in quality. As we can see, both are universal propositions, but one is affirmative and the other negative. Let's consider the following examples. All philosophers are deep thinkers. No philosophers are deep thinkers. No pastors are corrupt. All pastors are corrupt. Rules in contrary. If one of the contraries is true, then the other is false. But if one is false, then the other is doubtful. That is, its truth value cannot be determined. This is because contraries cannot be both true, but can be both false. Let us consider the examples earlier and assign truth value to them. If we assume that the proposition, all philosophers are deep thinkers, is true, then obviously, its contrary, no philosophers are deep thinkers, is absolutely false. Of course, it is already assumed that all philosophers are indeed deep thinkers. Then, it is impossible for philosophers to be not deep thinkers. However, if we assume that the proposition, no pastors are corrupt, is false, then we cannot absolutely say that its contrary, all pastors are corrupt, is true. For sure, it's possible for the contrary to be either true or false. Again, since we cannot have an absolute truth value to the contrary of the proposition, no pastors are corrupt, then its truth value is doubtful. That's it for now. Thanks for visiting us today for another whiteboard discussion here at Philo Notes. Full transcript of this video is available at philonotes.com. And to keep you updated of our newest videos, simply click here and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. Thanks! Take care!